Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the Philippe Anderson card to review. So a lot of very interesting variables on the card. I think they've actually changed his weak foot or not a weak foot, excuse me, his strong foot as well as his work rates, which is definitely going to be a very cool thing. Uh, this card is five foot nine, high medium work rates, left footed, five star skills, four star weak foot. So these are the types of cards that EA need to put out nowadays, right? So whenever they do these types of SBCs for attackers and whatnot, this is the bare minimum requirement. So uh, definitely very good there. Player traits, he has a finesse shot trait, which is a huge plus because this card on a marksman chemistry style looks really good. Yeah, marksman chemistry style for sure on this bad boy because a marksman is going to give him that 99 finishing boost, the dribbling boost, as well as a physical boost on the card which is going to be very important because base card stats for this for the pace on the card is oriented 99 for both acceleration and sprint speed. Shooting is going to be essentially perfect considering the fact that he has that finesse shot trait, which is awesome. Passing stats for this card is in a fantastic area while also working with a 91 for stamina. So this is all fantastic. This card is a five foot nine player with a unique body type. OK, so definitely looks like a very, very good card by the looks of it. Base card stats for passing is good. Dribbling is going to be in a good area on the marksman chemistry style. He even has 94 interceptions, which is fantastic because let's say, for instance, you're using this card in the side positions or you're using him through the middle. You can totally do that, too. Defensive stats on this card is a huge plus because what you could actually do, right, is you can actually give him a sentinel chemistry style, have defensive capabilities as well as physical ones but still be fantastic in every other area of the card. So to be honest with you guys, if this card sucks in game, I'll be very surprised because he looks really, really good in multiple ways. He even has a 95 for aggression on a marksman, right? He's going to get that plus 10 for strength too. So it looks pretty good so far. So I'm going to go ahead and complete the SPC and I'll show you guys how we line them up in game. All right, listen. So uh, yeah, it's a little bit broken, but what isn't broken in this game? You know what I'm saying? So uh, <laughs> let's give him the marksman chemistry style. Let's do that real quick. There we go. Nice little cheeky graphics. Just oh, oh, it's oh, no, it's yeah. <laughs> OK, uh, so yeah, we're going to give him the marksman and then we're going to do this. So we have we have a few. I might use like a, th a four, three, two, one in, at some point in the future, too. I think that'd be really good. Um, we can do the three, four, one, two and have to put them on that side to test them out. Let's see here. OK, so Schmelzer is going to go here. Pellegrini will go here. Insignia will go here. Perfect. There we go. This is a team I would actually use in foot champs, to be honest with you. This actually looks nice. Okay. Instructions get behind stay forward for that. And we'll have a balance 352 for this too. So we'll do that. Do that. Switch that to there. That to there. That to there. And then switch that there. Cool beans. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then balance in on the strikers. Cool beams. Let's go try them out. He started off with a defensive play there. Almost got a little play going. Oh. It's even glitched in the game too. You see that? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, I gotta try it, see if he actually wins the ball there. No! His, uh, his initial movement was fantastic, though. Oh, very fast. Very fast. I just went in the wrong direction there. Oh, that he released that really fast, eh? He's up top. Oh, can't get it to him though. I don't know if that was blocked by the goalie or if it was a defender that blocked it. Oh, I almost passed him there, eh? I like his dribbling. I'm just timing the... Um the uh, acceleration poorly because you just really shouldn't do it too much against uh, AI. Nice. He does a lot of defensive plays for me, eh? 
feel like that interceptions part is going to be super helpful in a lot of situations. Ooh, almost got the right-footed strike. Keep it in. Nope. Poof. Poof. Guys, I'm telling you, this card's nice so far. He's nice so far, man. In the beginning, I always like try to get the feel of the card first, attacking AI, shots and stuff. Once I do, though, try to like get some shot angles and stuff, you know? Oh, I timed that shot cancel really well. That was really good, too. Very fast by him. If I timed that, that would have been decent. Just couldn't get the couldn't get the timing right. Oof, I like that. Come off of the elastico. Able to use his, use his weak foot there for the finish. That was good. I like that. Yeah, it's really good that he offers defensive support. It's actually super helpful. Oh, sorry. I was like, it was way too many things there. That's why he's going to be way more sluggish after all that. Oh, it was a direct chip. Yeah, direct chip animation is not the one you want, right? You want the, the looped one. I'm going to get blocked, yeah. Almost got it, though. His dribbling is nice, though, guys. It's really nice. Good strike, though. Nice. Good run. Good finish. Well done. Well done. Very important for you to be able to do that roulette. And then the instant touch. And I got a random penalty there. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he did anything there, EA, but... What is his penalties? Oh, he's not one of the tops, eh? 74. They're like, yo, penalties, what is these, my brain? It was a good pen, though. Just saved it. That was a really nice um, L1, R1 uh, law pass or cross. I think it's, I guess you would, no, it's a law pass, yeah. Ah, I couldn't get the green on it. It's it's harder to time when you're coming off of the run. Remember the rants video, guys? You know what I'm saying? Ooh, almost. Try to get like a 45 there. Just couldn't find the space. Imagine. Ooh, we missed that one. You see why he missed, though? Because you see that touch he was coming off of? Because he did that touch, it's less consistent, you know? Gotta be like those sharp ones. See, like those ones? Those ones are gonna be a little bit more consistent. I didn't time it though. I didn't time it. By times. Oh, almost, almost. Oh, we'll take that. We'll take that. 
Oh, too much, too much, too much. It's coming off of a, a short touch, too. It, it, the distance and stuff, all that's really important for consistency. The only player that's going to be, like, the best at them is Messi. I think Maradona, too, to be honest with you. So that's a first-time strike without timing while under pressure. There we go. No timing on that. Great foot finish. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Philippe Anderson SBC. So, yeah, I mean, to be fair to EA, every Friday, for the most part, they've been releasing some pretty good SBCs. Um, most of these cards are incredibly fair value for the stuff that they offer in game uh now for me personally when it comes to philippe anderson definitely more of a side player than the player through the middle but can be played through the middle actually does a pretty decent job but if i was playing this card in my team most likely he's a card i would use in the right mid position right wing left wing left mid lamb ram that type of thing right uh but regardless uh they did a really good job with this card right because when you give him the marksman chemistry style these are the types of cards that we need nowadays to improve them as much as possible, right? Base card stats for pace at a 99.99 is fantastic to work with the work rates because he actually moves across the pitch nicely. Uh, base card stats for passings in a fantastic area. That is working with the four-star weak foot, 96 for composure. Dribbling on the card works out great considering the circumstances of this game, right? Uh, the fact that he has defensive capabilities is a huge plus because when you have those side players and he has base card stats of 94 interceptions, that is incredibly helpful to work with in most of the attacking positions, preferably in the side areas because most of the times you tell these guys to come back and defense, right? Uh, and then obviously the fact that he has physical capabilities too is pretty good considering that he's a short player. So, I mean, for the SBC being at 196K, it is incredibly fair value uh, for what he offers in a game. And you know what? If I remember correctly, I don't think there's many options to work with in the Serie A uh, in the right wing position. So if I do that and I go to the Serie A, right? There's the Berardi card. You only get Karsdorp if you prefer to use him in a specific way because he's attacking and defensive oriented, right? Verde, like these cards that these are cards that people do not use anymore. You know, I never even see the Pedro card used when he initially came out, but he's still pretty decent to be fair. But yeah, considering there's not like a lot of options, considering the fact that he's got the five star skill moves that always adds another variable to the card, it's definitely an SBC worth getting, in my opinion. So yeah, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.